I send it here. And in this training, we are going to go over how to use the conversations tab inside of the system. One of the best things that we've got is our ability to consolidate the conversation with your clients and prospective clients across multiple platforms. And what we're going to do is go over this feature so that you can utilize it to the absolute best of its ability. So the first thing that we're going to do here is you're going to click on conversations and we're going to explain each one of the features and what you have. First thing before you start is you want to make sure that you have integrated your social media accounts because we connect to all of your social media platforms. So your messenger with Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all of those social media platforms. We're going to first make sure that you've got that integration set up. So the first thing that you'll do is go to marketing and then go to the account section here. And then what you're going to do is add a account. And then you're going to go ahead and click on you adding your account and make sure that you can log in. I already have my Facebook account and my Instagram account locked, um, connected to the demo account, but you can also add your LinkedIn account, your Twitter account, your TikTok account, YouTube, and Pinterest. However, when it comes to conversations, really the only place that you're having active conversations is through the Messenger social media apps. So your Google My Business page, Facebook, and Instagram is where those conversations are primarily happening. Also in Twitter, and then also, I'm sorry, in LinkedIn, and then also in Twitter. I believe there's a message platform there. Once you've connected that, what will happen is, is once anyone has a starts a conversation with you inside of conversations, you will get like, you'll see that this is somebody I think who, and I can tell that this person sends me a message in Instagram and it's come in here and this conversation will be here. The great thing about this is you can also see here that this is Instagram DM it's automatically added this person to my account. So I don't have to go in and try and add them to the contact se section. By virtue of them starting the conversation, the system is gonna go and look at if this person is already in your system and then add them to your system if they're not. You can start, um, apply to a person if you want directly here. You can also do it on the contacts tab and I'll show you how to do that. On the right hand side, you'll see that you'll see their email. Since this is coming from face from Instagram, I don't have an email because this person is actually a spam reach out to me. So I don't have their email, but I could add their email to the account if they were a client. Phone number can also be added. You can add the tags, which are really great ways to categorize people in terms of actions and behaviors that they're doing. You can also on the right hand side, you can see what active automations this person is in. Okay, I'm going to select my, I'm going to search for my name. You'll be able to see I have deleted myself out of the system. So this is all um, junk mail. But the great thing is, is that you'll be able to, if you, if they were in automations and this is someone who's active and they're already on your list and they start a conversation with you, you'll be able to see what active automations they're in. And you can also add them to an automation here. So any automation um, that is already in existence in your workflow, all of these become available. So you can also schedule an appointment. So if I wanted to schedule an appointment, book an appointment with this person, let me just do this really quick and just kind of show you these different navigation points. So you can go directly to the contact tab for here. This is the contact information for this person. You can, on the right hand side, you can book an appointment and the book appointment window is going to come up and then you'll be able to select any of your calendars that you have and schedule an appointment with them. So we have two calendars here. So we could schedule a discovery call with them or a follow-up. And then if you have any other calendars, you can schedule those with them as well. And then you can select a time and date for it um, based on what your availability is. You can um, custom date and time based on um, a schedule an appointment with them special. 
And then the other thing that you can do on this side is we're going to close this appointments tab and here you can also you can see what opportunities they're a part of you can add them to an opportunity so we've got two workflow opportunities that are available we have a travel request and a client booking so this is a new client that you want them to submit a travel request you could send that message to them right here you would add them manually to the workflow if you wanted to you can also add tasks and so to add a task you could just give it a name test title test task follow up with this person in two days And then you can assign it to users in your system. So I'm going to just assign that to myself. And I'm going to say that this is going to be due in two days. And then click Confirm. Create new task. And now I've got a new task that's associated with this particular conversation that I'm doing. So it's great, too, if you want to follow up with somebody. This will then send you a reminder in the system so that you know that you need to follow up with them. You can also add notes to the person. So if you want to add a note, this person is spamming me about services I do not want to. And so the other thing that's great is when I talked about the contact information, we can actually put this person, since it's automatically on our um, contact list, and I know that this is a spam item, I can automatically set this person to on and then I can just say DND all and then this means that no communications that I will send out will go to this user text and if I had their email it would not send out so this is all the navigation that you can do on the far right hand corner when it comes to a conversation the other thing that you can do is, is that if you check mark this conversation here You've got some actions here that you can do. So you can mark it as read, unread, you can star it, and then you can also delete the conversation. This is a this is a really good feature if you want to remember the conversations and then it'll show up in your star tab right here, any conversation that you star. And then um, what I really like about this is that the all of the conversations that I'm having, so people who have sent me messengers uh, or emails or uh, text messages, everything that anyone has communicated with me is going to show up here. So I kind of work this folder in the morning. I work it twice a day. I work it in the morning and I work it in the afternoon before I end my day. And so that way I can respond to anyone that sent me an email, a text message or what have you, and make sure that I am responding to them in a timely fashion. And then, so let's say I want to mark this, like I want to mark all of these as red. And this is in the demo account, so that's why it's not clear. So I'm going to mark all of these as red. And then all of these in the unread, unread tab go away. But then in the recent tab, these will be all the recent conversations that you've had. And then if you start any conversation, those starred conversations will be here as well. And then, of course, you can see all of the conversations that have that you've had um, in a period of time. And then you can also run filters so you can filter inbound, outbound conversations, last outbound message type, manual or automated, and the channel that the the um, message came from. So one of the things that we said is we want to make sure that you have integrated your social media accounts. But if you have also a live widget, that's going to be integrated if you've got SMS and phone conversations. Those are also going to pull in here. This is probably one of the most powerful things that we have in our tool in terms of centralizing and consolidating the um, interaction that you have with your clients across multiple platforms. So it's in one location. You never have to worry about where am I getting, you know, where is that conversation that I had with my client? It's all right here. Some of the manual actions that you can do also are if you click on manual actions, you can, um, you, this is going to show any task or items that you may want to select here. So if you've got a um, work, you can let's start. So let's just start that. 
We're going to select a admin and we're going to here and then here. There's no pending task. So this is really going to allow you to um, work, add people to workflows and then manage the task associated. The other thing that I really like, which is really one of the things that you'll probably use is snippets. So let's say you've got somebody um, in a campaign or you're, you, um, you're, you're responding to a person, multiple people with the same response. And so one of the things that sort of come to mind, that's a really good one is somebody reaches out to you on Facebook messenger and says, I'd like to book a trip. You're, you could do a snippet and you could create a text snippet or an email snippet, and then use that for any conversation that you're doing. So we're just going to create a quick text snippet. We're going to uh, book, you know, travel request here and then we're just going to say hi and then we're going to add a custom value which is going to be their contact name because when the system pulls it in from we know what their name is hey hi thanks thanks for reaching out please complete um, travel request form get started to get the process here. And then what I would do is I would include the link to my travel request process. And so we actually have the travel request as a link um, here and it is your travel request. Travel request form. And so it's going to pull in that value that you put in your custom forms. It's going to pull that in. Remember to schedule a, a call right after you submit. All right, so if that's your process, and then you can just say your name, cheers. And then this is gonna be available to you here. So we're gonna click save. You'd also attach a file if you've got a file. So we're gonna click save. And the great thing is, is now this complete travel request is here. And so we're gonna to go to this conversation that we were in here. And what I could do is I could, let's pick somebody who's actually done a text message here. can go to templates actually go to contacts and do this so I can go from a contact let's say I want to send this person a text message because we just did that I could select that template that I just created and it'll automatically pull it in and then I could send them an action and then it will send the SMS to them. Since I know, I don't know this person and it's spam, I'm not going to respond because I do not want to engage, but you literally can create snippets and emails and text and text and email templates and then have it automatically bring in. So you don't have to, it's really great to utilize this feature if you've got a lot of repetitive types of responses that you're doing. And so then the last thing that I want to, we're gonna save trigger links. It's a little bit of an advanced topic. So we're gonna save trigger links as um, a separate training that we'll do um, completely separate. Then the other thing is, is that you can take a message and you can archive the message. So it, it'll, it'll actually sort of like take it out of your queue so that you don't have it. You can conversation. Again, you can mark it as star, you can mark it as unread, and then you can delete it, and then you can filter it. So when you're in active conversation, you can do any of these things as well. Now, what I encourage you to do is just put on your calendar 
schedule time that you're going to review your active conversations so that you can get to the business of doing your marketing and your designing so that you're not always like hovering over your phone that you've got some sort of rhythm to when you're going to respond to people and how you're going to handle that. This conversation tab, again, probably one of the most powerful things by the fact that we can integrate all of the conversation types that you're having with your client. Listen, we, uh, we will not be having a live office hours. I am traveling. So if you have any questions, do not hesitate to just post them at the end of this training in this video, and I will answer them later on today or through whenever you watch it. Conversations, my action item for you is get your integration set up, very simple to do that, and then use the power of integration and go to one location to manage the, the interaction with your clients across multiple platforms. Let me know if you've been listening. If you if you would like to get this feature inside of your travel business, do not hesitate to download for Travel Pro Suite. Use the link below to sign up today and we'll get you onboarded and aggregating your conversations in no time. Talk to you soon. If you're not a Travel Pro Suite member, simply go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash TPS. And if you are already a member and you'd like to join our affiliate program, you'll be able to resell Travel Pro Suite and make 30% monthly recurring income. I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. The time is now for you to simplify how you operate your travel business. Bye for now. If you have any questions and you'd like to join us for open office hours, we're starting right now go to sundaygardener.com.